Hey everybody, welcome back to Upstate Speed Tests. On this telephone pole directly across the stadium from where we were sitting appears to be a Verizon wireless small cell. I can't tell if it's a directional antenna or one of the round cantina type, but regardless, let's give it a speed test. And I think we're going to title this video LTE and small cells still matter or something like that. But anyway, so on this site, I'm getting some of the best loaded ping times I've seen on Verizon's network in the area. 58 millisecond uh, unloaded ping. Loaded ping times are looking great, 109 on the down, and I believe it's going to end up finishing around the 200s on the upload. Jitter at 4, 146 on the down, and 18.7 on the up. And just for kicks, we're going to run it twice, and I'll also put a screenshot up on the screen of what my wife's S22 Ultra that I'm recording the video on got for the same site. I'm doing this video as a voiceover just because there was a lot of noise in the stadium and a lot of people next to me talking and things like that, so uh, sorry, this isn't the ideal way I want to do a video, but it'll have to do for now. So second test here, 162 on the down, about 17 and a half on the way up. And then uh, switching over to T-Mobile, just for comparison's sake, let's see what we get here. T-Mobile, of course, running ultra capacity. Uh, now, going back to Verizon just for a minute, one thing that does kind of annoy me about their small cell network in the area is they're all LTE small cells, and sometimes they'll overrule the macro sites that have been upgraded to ultra wideband. So instead of getting, you know, between three and 400 down, you'll end up getting you know, 150, which small, <laughs> small beans to complain about really, but, uh, you know, I hope they get around to updating their small cell network in the area yeah, sooner rather than around. later. Uh, but you know, being kind of picky here, a hundred and hundred and whatever we just got in the first couple tests for Verizon are nothing to complain about, but regardless, uh, I do like consistency. So, uh, but yeah, as you can see here, T-Mobile, not nearly as good as Verizon. Uh, you know, they're very competitive, running 100 down. Again, nothing to complain about. It's kind of funny that in 2023 we're <laughs> comparing 100 down to something way better, you know. But anyway, 91 down, loaded uh, ping time at 63 is okay. Loaded ping times are kind of high for T-Mobile. Honestly, they're usually a lot better than this, but we're, we are kind of down in a, in a dip in a valley here. Uh, so, you know, no T-Mobile site relatively close, so that's kind of what we end up with. And last but not least, I was going to speed test Boost Infinite uh, via AT&T for you guys, but uh, for some reason, Boost Infinite, using the AWS core, just didn't want to connect. I tried power cycling the modem multiple times and it didn't really get any it didn't get me anywhere. So I don't know if it was because of boosts, you know, quote unquote maintenance issues that they were having today and the day before, but uh in this particular location just couldn't get Boost Infinite to connect. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video.